Hi everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Denise. My friend Sam is here. Hi everybody. And Sam, today we have a couple of felt board songs and stories. Oh, sounds fun. And a story about corduroy and Christmas. Oh, yay, corduroy. So are you ready? Let's get started. Our first felt board story and song is about five snowmen. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And it goes like this. Five little snowmen standing in a row. Five little snowmen made of snow. The sun came out and shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. Now there's four. Four little snowmen standing in a row. Four little snowmen made of snow. The sun came out and shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. Now there's three. Three little snowmen standing in a row. Three little snowmen made of snow. The sun came out and shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. Now there's two. Two little snowmen standing in a row. Two little snowmen made of snow. The sun came out and shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. Now there's one. One little snowman standing all alone. One little snowman made of snow. The sun came out and shone all day. And the last little snowman melted away. There we go, five little snowmen. Our next one has five gingerbread men. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Here we go. Five little gingerbread men laying on the tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, coat shouting catch me catch me if you can i'm pretty fast i'm the gingerbread man now there's four four little gingerbread man laying on the tray one jumped up and ran away shouting catch me catch me if you can i'm pretty fast i'm the gingerbread man now there's three three gingerbread man laying on a tray one jumped up and ran away shouting, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast. I'm the gingerbread man. Now there's two. Two little gingerbread man laying on a tray. One jumped up whoop, and ran away shouting, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast. I'm the gingerbread man. Now there's one. One little gingerbread man laying on the tray. He jumped up and ran away shouting catch me catch me if you can i'm pretty fast i'm the gingerbread man there's no more gingerbread man laying on the tray they all jumped up and ran away oh how i wish they had stopped to play next time i'll eat them before they run away okay now we have one about polar bears there's five polar bears one, two, three, four, and five. Five little polar bears swimming by the shore. One caught a fish, Boop. and then there was four. Four little polar bears splashing in the sea. One swam away. And then there's just three. Three polar bears in the ocean blue. One dove in, bloop, and that makes two. Two little polar bears having lots of fun. One chased a seal, oh, and that made one. One little polar bear, he wanted to be a hero, so he floated on the ice, oh, and that made zero. There we go. 
So our story today is Corduroy Christmas Surprise. Based on the character created by Don Freeman. Let's find out about Corduroy's Christmas Surprise. There was only one week to go until Christmas and Corduroy could hardly wait. This was one of the best times of the year. Corduroy loved the smell of his Christmas tree. He loved taking the ornaments and lights out of the closet. He loved stringing popcorn and berries and trimming the tree. And that was the only the beginning. Corduroy's list of fun things to do at Christmas time went on and on and on. This year, Corduroy thought to himself, Christmas is going to be even more fun than usual. His best friends, Mouse, Rabbit, Dolly, and Puppy were coming over to spend Christmas Day at Corduroy's house. He had little gifts for every one of his guests, so he pulled out the wrapping paper, tape, and ribbons, and wrapping presents always got Corduroy into the holiday spirit. That reminded Corduroy that he hadn't written his letter to Santa. What did he want for Christmas? Well, thought Corduroy, it would be fun to have ice skates this winter. He could use a new warm sweater. Oh, and he'd always wanted a train set and a new ball would be nice too. Corduroy wrote his letter in his neatest, best printing. Just then the doorbell rang, ding dong. Corduroy put down his letter and went to the door and there was Mouse, Rabbit and Puppy standing in front of his house and they were singing. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. When the carolers had finished, Puppy had said, Corduroy, grab your coat and come with us. We're going caroling at Dolly's house next. So Corduroy did just that. He put on his coat and his scarf and the four friends made their way over to Dolly's house. As they began to sing, Dolly opened the door and she looked so surprised. Then Dolly invited them all inside. I'm putting the finishing touches on my gingerbread house, he, she said. Why don't you four come in and help me? A real homemade gingerbread house? Corduroy had to see this. And what a gingerbread house it was. It had lots of windows, a fancy door, and a chimney. Corduroy could hardly believe his eyes. This is one of the best things about Christmas, said Dolly. Don't forget Christmas trees, said Corduroy, and Christmas carols, said Rabbit, and Christmas candy, said Puppy, as he gobbled up some candy, and Christmas presents, said Mouse. Everyone laughed. Then they started talking about each of their, what they wanted for Christmas. Dolly said she wished for a pair of ice skates. Puppy said he'd always wanted a train set. Rabbit said he could use a new sweater. And Mouse said a brand new ball would be fun. Corduroy didn't say anything. How could he tell them that he had written Santa to ask for all of those things? Back home, Corduroy found his letter to Santa right where he had left it. He decided to make a few changes. What if there weren't enough presents to go around? What if Corduroy got what he wanted, but his friends didn't? So Corduroy pulled out a new piece of paper and wrote another letter to Santa. This is what it said. Dear Santa, please bring ice skates for Dolly, sweater for Rabbit, trains for Puppy, and a ball for Mouse. I don't really need anything this year. Thank you, Corduroy. Corduroy put the letter in the envelope and in his neatest best printing, he addressed it to Santa at the North Pole. He stuck on a stamp and sealed the letter shut. Then Corduroy pulled on his coat, his scarf and his boots, and he walked outside to the mailbox and dropped the letter inside. He hoped Santa would get it before Christmas. A few days later, it was Christmas Eve. The very next morning, Corduroy's friends would be coming over to celebrate with him. Corduroy was getting ready by baking Christmas cookies. He hoped he had made enough. Before Corduroy knew it was time for bed. First, he had two important things to do. He hung his stockings on the mantel and he left milk and cookies on the table for you know who. Maybe Santa wouldn't be bringing anything for him, Corduroy thought, but he was so happy that his friends would get exactly what they wanted. 
Then Corduroy climbed into bed. All night long, he dreamed of the happy looks on his friends' faces when they opened their presents on Christmas morning. The next morning, Corduroy sat up in bed and rubbed his eyes. It was Christmas Day. It had finally come. Corduroy looked out the window to see a crispy, sunny day and a fresh blanket of snow on the ground. Then Corduroy rushed out to the living room to find lots of presents under the tree. Corduroy could see that there was one label for mouse and one for rabbit, one for dolly and one for puppy and could it be there was one for Corduroy too and extra presents for each of them. Corduroy was so surprised now he really couldn't wait for his friends to arrive. Once everyone had come, Mouse, Rabbit, Dolly, Puppy and Corduroy sat down together by the tree and opened their presents. Dolly got ice skates and a scarf. Rabbit got a sweater he wanted and a picture book too. Puppy got a train set of his dreams and a new hat. And Mouse got a ball and some warm winter boots. And Corduroy got ice skates and a sweater. How in the world did Santa know that he wanted them? But really, Corduroy thought to himself, the best Christmas gift of all was that he was surrounded by his friends on Christmas Day and they were all so happy. That made Corduroy happy too. He would have, have to write one more letter to say thank you, Santa, for the best Christmas ever. Here we go, Corduroy's Christmas surprise. Did you like that story, Sam? Oh, I sure did. Well, my friends, that's all for story time today. Good night. Good night, everyone.